Learn English Through Stories U40 Answers PDF Adapted and Modified by Kulwant Singh Sandhu Contents Vocabulary 11 Tests Answers 1. Correct the mistakes in these sentences. 1. I like sleeping in tents, but I don't like putting them up. 2. Put that CD on that you bought yesterday. I'd like to hear it. 3. We put a new dishwasher in last week. It's wonderful. Or, we put in a new dishwasher last week. It's wonderful. 4. Will you put on the TV? I want to watch the tennis. 5. That light is too strong. Shall we put it out? 2. Complete the text using particles. I don't know how Harry puts up with his boss. He works so hard, but his boss even gets him to put the lights on for him when it starts to get dark, and it's always Harry who has to put in new computer equipment. His boss never thinks twice about putting him off when they've arranged a meeting. I know Harry feels put out, but he never complains. We should really do what we can to put him on to some better jobs. 3-1 2-E 3 4 5 4. Complete each sentence using one word. 1. I'm amazed you didn't realize she was lying. It was blatantly obvious to me. 2. It was downright rude of him not to say hello to the secretary. 3. I've been hoovering and dusting all day, so now my flat is spotlessly clean. 4. Most of the facts were wrong in that news report. It was wildly inaccurate. 5. You should be thoroughly ashamed of yourself. Your behavior was appalling. 5. Write intensifying adverbs to make the words in bold stronger. The first letter of word is given. 1. I greatly appreciate the fact that you have given me so much of your time. 2. Sometimes Tony says utterly ridiculous things. 3. The crossword in today's newspaper is extremely difficult. I can't even start it. 4. It's awfully sweet of you to offer to help. 5. I found his remarks deeply offensive. He should apologize. 6. She leads a terribly lonely life in a tiny house on a remote island. 7. We should try to keep the two groups entirely separate from each other. 8. She is a highly educated person. 9. I've been incredibly busy all week. 10. That meal was extremely expensive. I'm not eating there again. 6. Put each of the following words or phrases into its correct place in the sentences below. Ah, uh, I spend a lot of time in bookshops. I don't often buy books. I just browse. B. If I come to a boring bit in a book, I just skip a few pages till the real story starts again. I see. I'll look up his number in the phone book. A D. I didn't know the word. I had to refer to a dictionary. E. Of course an encyclopedia is not a book you read from cover to cover you just dip into it for things that interest you. F. I never liked history at school. I found it very hard to wade through all that boring stuff about wars and revolutions. G. We have requested our lawyers to peruse the document with the greatest care to decide whether it's legal or not. H. Some people have the ability to skim a page, which means to read it very quickly, just taking in the main points. I. I sometimes flip through a magazine and a newsagent's, but I don't usually buy one. 7. Answer the questions below from the following list of parts of a book. In what part of a book would you look to find? Ah. Uh, answers to exercise questions? Key. B. Who supplied the photographs or helped with special research? Acknowledgements. A. Quickly what the book is about. 
blurb. A D. Meanings of foreign or technical expressions used in the text. Glossary. E. On what page a person, place, or event is mentioned. Index. F. If the book was written for a particular person. Dedication. G. Extra information about something mentioned in the main text. Footnotes, appendix. H. What other books have been written on the same subject? Bibliography. I. A picture of the author or the subject of the book. Frontispiece. J. How the book is organized in chapters. Contents. A K. A convenient list of the dates and events of the period covered in the book. Chronology. 8. Match the beginning of each sentence with its ending. 1. Every cloud has a silver lining. 2. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. 3. Necessity is the mother of invention. 4. Where there's a will, there's a way. 5. Variety is the spice of life. 9. Correct the mistakes in these proverbs. 1. We had no tent, so we made a shelter out of branches and leaves to protect ourselves from the storm. It was a case of necessity, is the mother of invention. 2. I'm doing three jobs at the moment to pay for my studies. Still, they say that variety is the spice of life. 3. I went to the gym every day for three months and felt so much fitter. It was very hard work, but no pain, no gain. 4. I decided that bungee jumping was too dangerous and didn't go with my friends better to be safe than sorry. 5. We've got 10 laptops at half price. But hurry it's first come, first served. 6. Three big bills at the same time. It never rains, but it pours. 10. Complete each proverb. 1. When we got there, they had given away all the free tickets. It was a case of first, first served. 2. Take your time and don't be impatient. Rome wasn't built in a day. 3. It's a shame you missed your flight, but at least we can spend more time together. They do say every cloud has a silver lining. 4. All my problems seem to come at the same time. It's true what they say, it never rains but it pours. 5. It's going to be a lot of hard work, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. 6. They are both in the wrong. It takes two to tango. 11. Put each of the following adjectives in its correct place in the sentences. Ah. He was very angry when he saw that his new car was scratched. Another car must have run along the side of it. B. The curtains were bright red when we bought them, but they've become faded in the strong sunlight. A C. That jacket needs cleaning and it's rather old. I think it's too shabby to wear. A D. If you have a banknote which is torn in two, take it to a bank and exchange it for a new one. E. Buy our new design travel bag. The different compartments will enable the traveler to keep clean and soiled garments separate. F. When she was two years old, she used to experiment with her mother's lipstick. Her face was always smeared with it. G. See those red-brown bits? That's where the machine is beginning to go rusty because it's unprotected from the rain. H. You can see the ceiling is stained where the rain came through. I. This radio is a bit shop soiled after being in the shop for nine months, so I'll knock 10% off the price. EJ. Let the ink dry before you put another piece of paper on top of it. Otherwise, it'll be smudged. Okay. This knife isn't sharp, it's blunt. Give me another one. I. This shirt isn't just dirty, Bobby. It's absolutely filthy.